And Director Relief unveiled a new search and rescue vehicle at its headquarters in Santa Barbara today. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab spoke to the Santa Barbara County Search and Rescue team about how this will help facilitate their rescue missions. Sheriff Phil Brown, the Santa Barbara County Search and Rescue Team, and the Direct Relief CEO and members were excited to unveil the latest search and rescue truck. It's really big. It's like, uh, it's like a pickup truck on steroids. Its massive size and elevation allows it to maneuver in various terrain. This can be a life-saving tool during mudslides, floods, and other natural disasters. We do medical rescue, trail rescue, search if people are lost. We also help the Sheriff's Office with uh, body recoveries, evidence searches. We also uh, help organize and work with the deputies for fire evacuations. The truck will allow the search and rescue team to perform over the side rescues with greater ease. This will help everyone from lost hikers and cyclists to drivers in a jam. We have um, two 800 foot spools of one half inch static rope for rescue. So we can have someone go over the side with a stretcher uh, up to 800 feet and then we can raise them back up on a continuous pool without manually have to reset it uh, with individuals. Direct Relief contributed $75,000 for this search and rescue truck, which in total costs $210,000. It's an amazing resource to have in Santa Barbara members of the search and rescue squad who are serving as volunteers at their own expense and buying their own gear. So of course it makes sense uh, for Direct Relief to support something that deals with health and safety of uh, the residents of the hometown that supported this organization for 75 years. The vehicle is designated for search and rescue missions here in Santa Barbara County, but it will also be used to serve nearby counties. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. A Galita real estate software company wants to turn part of its property into hundreds of apartments. Newshawk reports that Yardi Systems may convert a 100,000 square foot office building into 374 apartments.